six strategies to challenge your inner critic's voice. It's time you cultivated an attitude. Look, life can be hard sometimes. The last thing you need is your inner critic taking the wheel, getting on your case about every last little thing you're trying to do. Why are you listening to someone who doesn't have your best interest at heart? No, it's time to challenge your inner critic and silence their voice once and for all. How? Try these tried and true strategies. Start noticing. Inner critics like to whisper, never to speak out loud. The last thing they want is to be noticed in their nefarious schemes. By paying attention to what's going on in your head, you draw out their lies out into the light where they cannot stand. Give it a nickname. Whenever the inner critic speaks up, give it a silly name. Think to yourself things like, hey, it's Moldavort back again to cause trouble. By making fun of this voice, it's a whole lot harder to take it seriously. What about a voice? Do you hear some pretty negative things? Try saying them out loud. Giving voice to these thoughts, you'll hear just how ridiculous they sound. Take a negativity break. Tell your inner critic they can only come out to play at a particular time each day. During that time, take a break and tell the inner critic to do their worst. Be sure to set a timer for the space allotted, so you don't give more time to the negativity than necessary. Sit back and let it speak its piece. The funny thing? Most of the time, you won't even remember what it was the critic had to say by the time your negativity break rolls around. Even if you do, when the timer goes off, remind yourself you're done and walk away. Question everything. Is there any truth to what your inner critic is saying? Examine the statements. Feel free to argue back. Point out the flaws in the reasoning and back it up with examples of times when you've proven those things aren't true. Replace the words. Finally, drop the negative words entirely and rewrite the script to turn each negative into a positive. For example, saying, I'm terrible at writing reports, can become, I did a great job on the last report I wrote. I bet this one will be fine, too. Remember, silencing an inner critic is going to take time and energy. This kind of voice doesn't just shut up because you told them to go away once. No, you're going to have to do the work using these strategies until you're finally free of the nasty little voice. Once you've got it, though, your world will change enormously in some pretty great ways. After all, without your critic to hold you back, you're primed for success in a huge way.